Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. Ah. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Yeah. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Peaky D. Yeah. Doing everybody bad. bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. Nah. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a shot. Mad library in now, watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Dog. Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Woo. Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Yeah. Just be truthful yeah. with yourself, you know you ain't Stupid messing ass, with form. Hey, making every quarterback Stupid look like ass, they got an arm. How? And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Oh. Hey. Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, Dougie Bone, man? We back on the Madon with another banger for y'all. I've been going through the motions in my heart and spirit, man, about who I want to keep. Do I want Lamar Jacksonese? Do I want Tim Timothy Tebow? So we've been doing a lot of soul searching, man. Uh, in this gameplay, I get matched up with this SD gamer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I played dog before. And uh, he ends up giving me a hell of a game uh, right here. And what I feel like is probably better than tight. That would have been a pick. Um, yeah, y'all y'all, y'all, uh, y'all might have seen the video. If not, go scroll back like a couple of weeks and you'll find it, man. Nigga hit on me and tried like all type of weird shit, bro. I don't, you know, I, I, like, it, like I, and I found out dog stream on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Zesty Twitch streaming is wild. And, and, and I don't understand it unless you really zest. I don't understand why y'all want it, why y'all fake zesty out here, bro. I don't. I could possibly get in trouble for, for what I'm saying, but I, I don't understand it. If I was zesty, I would be offended due to the fact that y'all walk around being fake zesty as adults. I don't, I don't understand. What am I missing? about it bro you know what i'm saying like 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 i got a my nephew is zesty right and i'm pretty sure he would be offended if i walked around being fake zesty just because he you know what i'm saying i don't understand it bro like and then let's run it back get to this game because this pisses me off bro like oh man like the pursuit angle here is just so as he comes downhill while he's going up and completely takes himself out to play i'm down a quick 7-0 to a to, i cannot lose to this dude bro this is like the one dude i cannot lose to because if i lose to dog he gonna send some overly zesty shit to me and i and i that's i don't i don't be going for all that so I, I really was like, I was like the whole time in this game, I'm like, yo, there's no way, like, I can't, like, dog, if I lose to this dude, I'm going to be pissed. You know what I'm saying? So I, I declare, we, we played twice, I uploaded both of them, I'm not, I'm not playing dude no more. And if we do play, I'm not uploading it, man, for real. If you do, I'm not uploading it, man, because it's, it's like as I grow and people start to know who I am. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This nigga, he was getting fully blocked, man. We go down 14 0. He was getting, he was, he was fully engaged, man. Soon as the ball pop up, he disengaged. Like, the, like the, those pop up picks this year is coding, bro, for real. But uh, yeah, I, I I just I can't lose, bro. But it's looking like I am. You know what I'm saying? So this one of those ones, bro. Like I cannot lose this game, or I, like I can't play this game no more if I do, bro. For real. So now I gotta come out, make sure I get seven right here. We hitting with the deep ball. I'm gonna keep it a buck. If I don't high ball that. It's a tug, but I'm programmed to high ball. Because you, you got to understand, with Slinger, even though Slinger speeds up the release of the ball, you know what I'm saying? It, it, like, when you got those, not Slinger, I'm sorry, but pass lead elite, it's a velocity-based ability, so it gets the ball there faster, but it's also on a lower plane. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's why you get those crazy wild animations where niggas jump up in the air 360, flip you the bird, pick the ball off type shit. So I'm a hundred percent like in the mind highball everything that I throw deep down the field. Everything, bro. Because if you don't, with these sub linebackers, bro, they going to jump up and they going to snag. And the worst feeling in the world is to get picked off by a dude sitting 15 to 20 yards underneath a route. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the worst feeling. As you can see, this nigga Dion going crazy, diving everywhere. Nigga dirty in the first quarter because he want to jump around, be sweet. And then once I do uh, punch this into the end zone, if I punch this in the end zone... I have to get a stop on what I feel like is one of the tougher tight offenses to get a stop on. Y'all let me know in the comments. Rank rank the uh, tight. It's uh, tight, tight offset, tight doubles, uh, tight halfback slots weak, and then this tight Y off. For me, as far as difficulty, is tight halfback slots weak. Then it is tight double. And then is this tight Y off, and then is gun and tight offset. I don't have a lot of trouble stopping those. I think this one gives me a, a big issue because it's the stack on the left side. So this guy's an unbumpable. Like he's gonna get a free release every single time. And because I'm not even I haven't paid a lot of attention because he's in the slot, he may get the free release too. I know as a tight end, he's gonna get the free release off the line. You know what I'm saying? So it, it like it's not like you can press any of these dudes if you was gonna go to man defense. And then with the tight end being on 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 set on the line, he like it, you get way better blocking. Now it would be ideal if he was on this side and the blocking would be I well like would be even better. But any formation, I feel like with the with the tight end connected to the line, you get supremely good blocking, bro supremely good blocking so i feel like this is one of those formations as we get there because the bomb was coming open this is one of those formations that like really gives me a lot of trouble i have to be very very tactical in how i uh mix in pressure when i don't send it you know what i'm saying like i gotta be real tactilicious you feel me on how i approach uh dog right here as we get the knockout right there Playing, like, we're playing good defense, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just trying to get that stop, even the game back out, because I do get ball at half. Do I? Yeah, I do get ball at half. So, if I can even it back out, get my picky D. As you can see, I'm playing the mid read in case he tries to go back to that deep ball right there. And he throw hits me right in the seams. That, this solo receiver guy on this side, oh, he destroys in the seams, bro destroys in the same so right here boom we get the picky d that's what i mean by being tactical and how i mix up pressure i hadn't sent any pressure at dude for a minute you know what i'm saying had been quite a few plays since i last sent pressure so i sent the pressure here knowing he wouldn't expect it and then i'm a dart this way he tried to quick throw in those flats and we there we there we get the picky d we get our rock back now it's up to us to just go down and get this seven and then lock back in because I haven't locked in on Madden in a very long time. But I for sure was a I was probably like 42% locked in this game as we jump up and snag that. Just for the simple reason, I didn't want dog sending me them wild zesty ass messages, bro. And, and another thing, just for, for subs in general, bro. Don't DM me in the middle of the night. If you see me on YouTube at 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, any shit like that, don't fucking DM me. Don't message me what you doing. Like, what is wrong with y'all, man? For real. Like, y'all ain't never looked at y'all clock and been like, this ain't really a good time to be messaging niggas type shit. Y'all ain't never thought like that? Like, yeah, this this weird if I send him what you doing at 1 or 2 in the morning. For real, bro. 
The shit I gotta deal with is incredible as we bag that right there. I just wanna show y'all, cause I've gone over this. But a lot of y'all hard headed, y'all gonna ask me the same question. I man him up instead of going with the mid read. The mid read would do the same thing as the man up does. And then my vert hook is gonna uh, also uh, match the seams going up, up the field. You know what I'm saying? Even though he matched late as hell on that tight end, but like I said, the tight end gets, a, he's unbumpable, so he's gonna free release straight up the field, you know what I'm saying, while Henny Hen was still in drop back formation, so right here, try to send pressure, I'm a, I'm a half second off of picking that, if I'm able to climb like another two, three yards, and he makes that throw, it's an easy pick, you know what I'm saying, but he definitely did a decent job of quick hiking me right there, right here, we go coverage again, he checks underneath, I want to say, no, this is, no, I had got, no, that's not Golden Ticket Peppers, I'm tripping. Every time I see Peppers now, I think it's Golden Ticket, but I sold him and I still got the 95 Peppers, who who still does amazing. I just don't, if the other Pepper drops in price, I'm going to get him, but there's no point in me having that 3 million coin card, you know what I'm saying? As we play good defense, he does a good job of white catching away from the knockout, which is from what, uh, my understanding uh, talking to a lot of y'all is what y'all need to work on, bro. Y'all really, really need to work on why catching away from the knockouts. Because a lot of y'all suck at that shit and it's crazy. I think that's probably one of the best things about my my stream, my community, is that I, I, I watch you all play. Like you all, like a, a large majority of people in the community play on my stream. You know what I'm saying? So what that does, it sometimes it eliminates uh, the the fake the fake Madden players, the ones who say they good but they really ass, but you can't really say shit about it because you've never seen them play. Like it's super easy to be say you cold at Madden when no one's seen you be cold at Madden. You know what I'm saying? You a secretive cold type nigga. Nobody ever seen you play, so it's easy to come into the comment section and say. All this shit about how how you would have did this and well, what I like to do is I like to cross modulate my man into a different type of high uh, hybrid defense, which I formulated on my PC and when I tra transferred it over, it actually meshed well and I've I've, I've currently won six thousand games in a row. Like y'all say y'all say real stupid goofy shit like that. But, but, but when y'all come in my stream and y'all play and then I see you ass. Now it brings a different type of energy the next time you in my comment section because you have tasted of the humble pie. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm the best YouTuber in the world because I expose my subs, man. W me, bro. Yeah, W me, man. So getting back into the gameplay, I kind of need to, I need to score right here but because I do get ball in the ha at the half. I don't want to take three, you know what I'm saying, as I hit him across the uh, – the scenes with the high ball, but if I if I have to, I will. But I want seven here, then get seven at the half, then get a stop, then score again. You know what I'm saying? Then get another stop and put the game away. I have a decent idea of what he likes to do offensively. It's just, it, like at the end of the day, Madden is just about, you know what I'm saying, executing the game plan. And it ain't always... Super easy because the, the the game can be super duper random at times with the D line picks etc. That that's what has me in the spot that I am now. So you gotta fight, you gotta fight, bro. You gotta fight. You gotta expect that. Like if you a good player, you are gonna have wild adversity. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have to just figure shit out as we throw the ball right there. I got plenty of time. I'm not worried about the time. I was 19 seconds uh, throwing the ball. There's plenty of time. I'm gonna get. Well, shit. Second, third. I, I got three downs because if I if I if if I get tackled in bounds, it's over. So all my plays have to be like this: shot at the end zone or out of bounds. I quick hike him, catch him on the D line, and that's just an easy pitch and catch for us. So now he has 16 seconds, three timeout, which is more than enough time to go up the field. But I plan on blitzing dog until he die. That's my game plan. And, and, and it's, it's going to be off this first one right here. I'm going to see how he handles the pressure this first one. If he don't get a pass off, then I know I can really blitz dog and I'll be good. I'm going, um, I went hook curl right there as we get the saccharoni and cheese. Because on that right side, usually 
of, of tight wide off this right side. I don't think in a playbook there is a play where he's on a corner route. You know what I'm saying? It's usually like the stock. You got to put him on a high route master corner route. So usually he's he's rarely on a corner route. So that's why I'm going hook here. So uh, he can match inside because he's, he's been streaking him a lot. And then if he doesn't streak him, he throws him on a crosser. And I can pick him up on a crosser. But I do have that hook. Uh, and KT likes to throw one across the field because I am sending pressure uh not dropping anyone in the coverage you know what i'm saying now if he starts doing some of these same things in the second half you'll see, you won't you won't ever see this setup this is strictly end of the half i know you don't you not finna throw no corner route on that right side so i'm not finna respect it now of course in the second half as you can see you can have that all game in the second half you won't see that because he can very well start cooking with the corner routes so you got any type formation, you gotta respect the corner route throws. You got to, or you would get killed. It, you know what I'm saying? They gonna killed at you with the corner route throws. He's more than welcome to take anything in the flats. Right here, he flips the play. Even though there is a corner route, he can be going to. At this point, I'm like, all right, let me switch it just in case. He goes uh, crosser deep post. With the flat streak, the uh, streak is a zone puller. He was looking to hit underneath, and the pressure just got there. In order for him to get any of this shit off, he's going to have to block. You know what I'm saying? Him sending guys out on routes is just going to get him screamed at. Right here, we just going to drop everything back and then send pressure, and you can have whatever check down you want. But he is a running a crazy cold play right here. He motions him over and kind of turns this shit into like a makeshift screen, bro. And had I not gotten over there with my user, he was gone to the crib. Like, that is a crazy cold play, bro. I can't even cap on that one. Like, that play was lit. So, right here we go, QB draw, run the ball. Oh, my God, I wish uh, Cordell Patterson would have picked that up because I was going to the crib. Now, as far as QB draws go, I, I like Tebow better, bro. I just felt like Tebow ran niggas over. I'm going to keep it a buck. Even though he, he feels faster on the QB draw than Lamar does. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, as a thrower of the football, Lamar feels better. It feel like he got a little bit more pop. You know what I'm saying? But he, I, could, I could play with Tebow and... Of course, as you've seen, I'd be perfectly fine. I don't need Lamar Jackson. The golden tickets that's dropping is kind of, they mid. So, even the, um, what is the fan appreciation joints? Uh, the one I may get is Parham, but I don't want him at corner. Depending on what his hit power is, I might, uh, he might become my new user. If he has high hit power, but that's pretty much it. He'll probably become my new user. I'll get rid of um, Derrick Henry because if I'm not mistaken, I think these golden tickets might be might be free. Shit, they better be free. Fan, we appreciate y'all here. You know what I'm saying? That's what fan appreciation is. But damn, see, then everybody gonna be running the same shit. So they gotta give us new uh, tokens. They gotta give us new tokens. So maybe we just get to pick one. I'm going Parham, and he's going to be my new user. So that's going to be nice for me. I got to see what his change of direction is, though. Because if it ain't high, I don't want him. So right here, uh, he's giving me more of a spinner look, but this guy on the right is still offset. Well, let me know it's probably still DB fire. I go ahead and hit this drag, check down, pick up a quick first down. Now we cooking. You 11 to 14. We dotting, dog. Crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because this is all Madden, if I'm not mistaken. And all Madden, it is so much easier to dot the dollar. It's so much easier to dot dollar. Right here, we end up just taking off, throwing the ball away. I could have taken a chance to that Gronk on that deep post, but I just didn't feel like I felt like he would run out of uh, space in the back of the end zone, and it would give Sherman an uh, easier opportunity to pick the ball off. So again. Take the check down. This is when I'm at my best. I feel like this is when anybody is at their best, bro. When you are making like 
your check downs are going for nine, ten a pop, right there, just a bad shed. And uh, you hitting those check downs, you hitting your deep post. Like your reads just feel like, regardless of how many he blitz, I'm going to find somebody open. And then I fucked up everything I had going with this play call right here. I know he's not blitzing. I know he isn't. So, I I, I was thinking I should have went Z spot. But I'm like, against this DB fire, and which is might end up being a, a inverted cover three look with him playing a flat, a flat sitting super low. I also thought I should have went crosser. Uh, drag, smoke screen, backside post. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, uh, I don't know what I would have did with Gronk. But that's what I was thinking in my head that I should do. And I didn't go with what I was thinking. Could have hit that drag right there on fourth down. Hit it super late, though. Hit it super late. We end up turning over the ball. I actually took a delay of game because I was trying to hike, but I wasn't able to. And that was a huge game changer because that drag ends up being a first down. So now he has the opportunity to score. Shit, where he is now, if he wanted to, he could shoot clock up and end the game. So I kind of need to be a, a bit more aggressive. But I don't want to just all out blitz. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping I'm going to send pressure off this left side. Pick up anything going from right, from, from right to left. And then any cross or anything going left to right, I can take away again. For whatever reason, we just not playing that wheel route. You know what I'm saying? Even though I got the hook there, we, we just can't play that wheel route correctly. So right here, I want to be a little bit more aggressive in the middle of the field. So I'm going to the coverage defense, but I'm also going to uh, seam flat on this left side. So it gives me a little bit more... Uh, Room to work in the middle of the field, and we get him to throw that book. We get him to throw that book. The reason why I went zone here instead of just trying to send pressure, because if I send pressure, I'm responsible for all of this real estate. And if you, as you can see, he's chewing clock. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of need to put someone here so it'll free me up to take away these crossers and underneath routes that are becoming his tendency because if you watch dog play even when he puts him on quick outs he never he hasn't hit him once ain't hit him once so he, but the real estate he likes to throw in is here so i'm gonna just put somewhere in there to take that away and now i get to play in that real estate i got to take away it early and then i jump down and he threw a late little po uh what was that like a short little crosser Right at my hook curl. Um, good defense. And we get us a stop. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he throws that cleanly over the middle if I don't go seam flat there. Because I'm I'm jumping up to the street that Mike Evans was on. Then I'm coming down. And by that time, I'm cooked. You know what I'm saying? So right here, this is the play I wanted to run on fourth down. And we ended up scoring a uh, touchdown. Because he gave me the same exact look. Same exact look as the as what he got the turnover on. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always tell myself, you, you just got to do a better job of listening to yourself. And you'll be a lot better off for it, man. That's what we do. End up scoring the tug. Taking the 28-21 lead. Now I just need him to make one more mistake. One more mistake, man. And we can put this game away. You know what I'm saying? I'm liking how I'm playing on defense. We, we have not given up a score. Again, we're playing that deep ball. We're playing the deep ball amazingly. You know what I'm saying? Because I know there's a cover three beater out there. That's the one thing about play, playing a lot of cover three. And this is for the dudes who do run a lot of cover three shell. One adjustment I keep telling y'all from y'all sub safeties is a mid read. It'll protect you on a lot of those deep posts from either side that dudes want to run. It'll help you out so much. Won't help, or you can you can man up if you want. It won't help you from getting thrown in the scene, or a post, or just the regular post routes. Those still get there. You know what I'm saying? As we jar that ball loose, but those deep posts that that destroy cover three, it'll help you a lot in playing those if you play match coverage. I don't know what the fuck it do against zone because I don't be. I mean, against zone drops because I don't run zone drops. Right here, he tried to go to it again. As you can see, 
We on that shit like glue. End up picking the ball off with Big Pep. You feel me? Big Julius 9 GT. I wonder what his GT is going for. I'm going to check. If that boy didn't drop down, which I doubt he has, but if he dropped down to like seven, eight hundred k I might grab him. I might win a couple of Super Bowls and then use that, what I win, to just go get his card. Because that's really the only way that you get into this pepperoni and cheese on this game, bro. That's the only way. You got you to gotta win wild Super Bowls. So right here, boom, end up hitting the drag because I see the pressure coming out my peripheral on the right side. So I checked that down because I was looking at the corner route that was about to come open. Uh, right here, I, I, if I know me, we going QB draw right here because this is prime QB draw territory. Dog ain't pinching his line, so he's giving me the entire uh, middle to go to, probably to the right side. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what the shed looking like, we end up going left. And we end up scoring a touchdown, going down to the one. Now, look, I told y'all this also before. Why, look, so when I'm running the QB draw, if you notice, my guard, my center is positioned inside. So if I cut this up right, John Man is immediately going to shed and grab me. If the center was positioned on this right side, I would have cut right. Whichever side my my center is positioned here or here dictates where I'm going to run. Now, sometimes I make that read incorrectly, and that's when you see me pissed about the shed. So I make it, I make it fast this time because sometimes I'm looking up to see if these guys have grabbed that guy, and I may cut incorrectly. But because we cut on the side, he had he had that leverage on the left side, pushing him this way. So we cut up right behind him, pick up great yardage, bro. If I would have cut right, easy, easy share right here. Can't run QB draw because the DT is right over the center. So we go full back uh, dive. Even if the nigga would have ran commit, which I think he did, we still get in. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what this dance is. I don't know if this nigga lighting up Reggie or what he doing, but drug test him. I don't know what the hell that was. So now we take the 35-21 lead on dog, uh, essentially putting the game uh, away. Unless dog hits me with like a nasty ass deep play bomb, but I'm playing cup. I'm playing more so coverage. No need for me to blitz right here. He flips the play like he did the play before. I'm kind of thinking he might go to that makeshift screen joint. So that's what I'm waiting for. He doesn't. I run. And he tries to hit me with the uh, corner route, but he stops. I don't know why. And I celebrated on him like a hoe, bro, because, dog, I didn't want the zesty messages, man. He stopped trying to click on him. I don't know what he was trying to do. Kind of moved his guy out the way, opened up the lane for me to grab the pick and win. I was so happy I won this game because I, I just couldn't lose to him, bro. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll get at y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.